today we're going back out into Matze and we're gonna go visit Lefkadio Hearn's house. He was a writer in the late 1800s. He was born in Greece, but later immigrated to the US. And then he moved to Japan and he eventually became a Japanese citizen. And he's written over, I wanna say, at least 12 books about Japanese culture and literature. One of his most famous being Glimpses of Unfamiliar Japan, which I started reading and it's very well written. But he spent a lot of years in Matsa and wrote a lot about this town, which is very small compared to other places in Japan, so he's very well known here. But eventually he moved to Tokyo, which is also where he died and where he's buried. So we're gonna visit his house in Matsa today to learn more about him um, and I'm really excited, so let's go. Backyard of your old farm in the summer. Stayed there for three weeks. All right, so we're on our way to Lafgadio Hearn's house. But right before we got there, my mom spotted a sign that said the old samurai house because we're in kind of the historic area of this town. A lot of the original buildings are still standing the way they are. If you want to kind of move into this area or build a house, I think there's different rules that you have to follow to maintain like the historical value and look of this area. So right now we're just stopping into an old samurai house. So we're gonna look around, but I'm really excited. Bro, I literally thought that samurai, the samurai mannequin was real. It's not real. is no joke so I'm using a little sun umbrella right now but the gardens in this place are actually incredible I mean duh because samurai lived here but I mean, take a look at the gardens funny story so they didn't actually let us take photos or videos in the museum so now we're gonna go get lunch at the place my mom worked when she was younger Yay! We just got out of the Lefkadio Hearn house, which is really beautiful and you could just tell that it was his house because he's a writer, he's always looking at beautiful things like nature and stuff like that and he had the prettiest garden I've seen in a Japanese house yet. So you could definitely tell that he lived there. Um, but it was really cool and it's just interesting to see how much history is in a small little town like this. And so being in the historical part is pretty awesome. And again, here's a little moat thing. You might see a boat pass by once in a while, but yeah. All right, off we go. Today's the first day it doesn't feel like insanely hot, which is something I'm very, very thankful for because usually it's like 100 degrees outside. But right now we're just sitting here and waiting for the Lake Line bus to come back and pick us up. It should be probably like 10 or 20 minutes. Nothing too long, but oh, there's a boat. Hold on. 